You're listening to Blame Your Brother. Hello, everyone. We are back once again. Blame Your Brother, episode 49, one before the big 5-0 next week. And then another week will be up to our first year as a, as a power trio. So we are back once again. Blame Your Brother, guys. Thanks so much for checking us out, listening, telling all your friends about it, spreading the word. There are three of us that come to you each week. I am one third of that trio. I am David, also known as D. Brew. Nick. Nickum, the voice of the people, the spiritual midget, and Joey Freshwater. I am joined every week by the man to the left of me, my actual brother. His name is Lee. What's up, everybody? I'm the voice of reason, the safety clip pin, the safe, <laughs> the herald of the safety pin, mm -hmm. and the protector of all social justice warriors in the world. All right. We're also joined by our longtime friend, not our actual brother, but just friend, his name is John. What's up, John? Hey, this is John, a.k.a. Tico, a.k.a. the voice of no one. Everybody has a voice. Yeah. There you go. Anyway, voice of no one. Mr. PTI. They got John Tortorella, a madman. They do a madman. Okay, he's a madman. Oh, we jumped the gun on you, jumped so the there you go. John Tortorella, a madman. They do a madman. Okay, he's a See man. how I'm treated around here. Yeah, <laughs> you don't even get the respect of your yeah. own AKAs. Can't give them <laughs> Things are changing around here, okay? <laughs> All right, we got some hot new segments tonight. We'll be talking, hopefully, about Spider-Man Homecoming a little bit later in the program. We have many topics to talk about. Should be a Trump-free zone this week. Oh, too late. Cross your fingers. Well, I mean, we can mention the We're not going to talk about Trump, really? And the PP tapes. I'm I'm good not talking Don about Trump. Don Jr.? John, are you good not talking about Trump? I'm, I'm, I'm fine not fine. talking what about, about JR? DJ. Can we talk about JR? No, we're good. And there will be no Trump's there discuss. Will be no I mean, Trump. well, I can't guarantee you, but the plan is not to discuss Trump. But we'll see. Who knows? This isn't a scripted okay. show. Well, if you're playing the game at, at home, yes. health care, take a shot. Take a <laughs> shot. There you go. He did it bright and early for you. <laughs> we'll get it over with. All right, let's get this over with. Um, every week we have a legal team that listens back to our episodes, and they give me a note before down these steps and they go you have to do this just for legal reasons to protect yourself is there anything you guys said last week you need to apologize for lee anything you said you wish to retract last week um yeah uh oh i thought there was something but uh not sure all right fantastic I like there was like something out of germany or something you keep saying that every week what is, is that like your matt damon uh jimmy kimmel thing you keep doing every week Maybe not. Okay. Um, anyway, John, is there anything you said that you wish to apologize for? Nope. All right. John is in the clear, everybody. So there we go. All right, guys. Uh, did I say anything? No. Uh, we all know everything I say is gospel. It's the truth. Everything is great and dandy. So we shall continue on. We shall power on through the episode. How was, how was everybody's week? Fantastic. Anything that stands out? I'll say... I do. I do have to. I have to issue an apology, not for the episode, but something that happened during the week. Um, I killed a squirrel this week with my car. <gasps> um, I was driving down the street and this squirrel just jumped right in front of the car, and I could hear it hit the tire, and I saw it just. Oh, I just saw it, you know, just get crushed, and the my two boys were in the car with us. And uh, I was like, oh, no. And they're like, what's wrong? I was like, oh, nothing, nothing. I hit a rock or something. <laughs> and then they were laughing about the noise. And I was kind of bummed out a little bit about it. I was like, oh, no. I just Well, the most famous squirrel is called Rocky. So <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, so, so, dear squirrel that I murdered on the, on the side of the road this past week, I do apologize for that. that that's unfortunate. Um, it reminds me of a story. You took out a squirrel, man. Yeah, well, here's, cool. here's a story I remember growing up. Um, our, we had this bow, okay? <laughs> I don't know why we had this bow and a few arrows, and it was green. I remember that because it was green like the green arrow. Yeah. And I loved the green arrow growing up. I thought it was, he was you know, one of the best. Um, so our dad got us this bow. I don't know why. Like We would just would go and play around with it. So one day we're out in the backyard and we're shooting you know, we're shooting at like a tree or something. And, you know, we're young kids. I don't know, probably, I mean, probably 11 and 9 or something. And uh, my dad picks up the bow and he's like, let me show you how to do it. And he, he sees a bird like over by this tree and it's pretty far away, you know. 
And he takes the bow, shoots it, hits it right through the bird's eye, kills it instantly. Do you remember this, Lee? I do. And our dad, bad about it. Our dad felt super bad about it. I mean, he, I mean, this looked like a shot out of a movie. I mean, it went straight through this bird's eye, you know. And he later was like, he didn't mean to do it. I, I don't know about that, but um, if he did. (laughs) Yeah. It's kind of, I mean... Maybe he's the green arrow. That's a testament to your dad. Yeah. So anyway, I I just thought of that. I I, I don't know. There's some memories of your your parents or your family or growing up that just dumb memories that stick with you. Like, why is that a memory that sticks with me? It's so stupid. I mean, I don't even know why. But anyway, it's just... uh, So sorry to the squirrel family this this week. Um, and speaking of squirrels, real quick, and we'll talk, maybe we'll talk about it, maybe not, but we'll definitely be talking about, like I said, Spider Man. But the new Warriors TV show is being cast right now. And uh, Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl has been cast as one of the girls from the TV show. Um, God, I can't remember. I don't some, know what she's from. Some uh, sitcom I'd watched before. And uh, I, I'm very interested to see. This is on like an alternate ch- uh, channel. It's not like a. You know, prime time network or anything. It's, it's, like, some, it's on Freeform, isn't it? Yeah. What is Freeform? What it's, is that? Uh, ABC Family. They changed the name. Okay. How do you get to it? Is it on? It's on Basic Cable. Oh, it's on Basic Cable. Okay. So if you don't have cable, it's usually like off of uh, just just after the Disney Channel. Okay. So this is going to be a big thing. This, the Inhumans are now going to be on TV. You've got Marvel Agent of Shield, and we'll discuss this later. But just keep this in mind: when will the superhero trend end? So just keep that in mind. We'll discuss it when we talk about Spider Man. Which two of us, me and John, saw Lee? You did not get out and see Spider Man. Not. I'm busy. I have things going on in my life. Okay. All I right. don't have time to go watch a bad Spider Man movie. Okay. Well, well we don't we'll, either. We'll, we'll get. We'll get. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming it was either. bad. All the other ones have been well, bad, we'll, right? We'll get to it later. Okay. The new one aside, has there been a good Spider Man movie? Um, the first Toby Maguire one was the that first right? Toby. What is that? Like two, 1998. What is this? It was, I think I, it was 2002. I mean, everybody loves Spider Man too, and I was just like, eh, it's okay. I mean, you know, it, it's I. Right. <laughs> I never liked Toby Maguire Spider Man. I liked, I actually liked Andrew Garfield as Spider Man over uh, Toby Maguire Spider Man, but the movies just weren't as good, you know. So, um, so there's that. I mean, we can talk about Spider Man now if you want. If you just want to kick it off at the beginning of the show, I don't care. Do you want to talk about Spider Man? Sure. All right. I, I don't want to talk about Spider Man. All right. So can we gonna... push it to the end so I can just leave. Uh, so Spider Man, Spider Man Homecoming <laughs> dropped this this past week, and I was super excited to see it. I mean, all the on promo, a scale of one to ten, how excited were you? About a nine. I yeah. mean, all the promos for it, all the trailers, all the hype for it. It looked amazing, you know. And so, and, and sometimes that signals a big letdown. This is no. the one that has Iron Man in it. Iron Man, Tony or, Stark's in it. Happy what's Hogan's What's the actor name? Uh, Robert, Robert Downey, Downey Jr. Jr. Robert Downey Jr. carried it, right? Actually, he wasn't in it very much at yeah. all. I mean, he was great when he was in it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. He had some great scenes, but he acts as more like a father figure to uh, Peter Parker. So it's Tom Holland, right? It's a kid who looks like he's 15, which works. I mean, Tony McGuire looked like he was like 27 years old. I was like, whoa, you're in high school? What happened yeah. to you? Did you get held back a couple of years? But, um, all right, so, John, initial thoughts. What would you give this movie just initially one to five? Let's just keep it simple. One to five star rating. How many stars would you give Spider-Man Homecoming? Probably four. Yeah, I would give it a four, maybe four and a half. Wait, this recent one was Homecoming? Yeah, Homecoming. Yeah. Wait, four out of... Four out of five. Oh, okay. I yeah. thought we were doing a 10 scale. No, no, no. Five. We start at the excitement on one to 10. So. Okay. Well, we can do 10. I give it a, a 8.5. What would you give it, John? I'd probably give it an 8.5. Okay. So we're about 8.5 and a what? 8.5. 8.5. Two 8.5s. Two 8.5s. Yeah, two wow. 8.5s. Can I give it a score? Sure. One. <laughs> I'll give it a five. Zero. Incomplete. Oh, four. All right. So, John, uh, what? <laughs> I mean, I, I want to keep it spoiler free, but um, Michael Keaton's in it as the vulture. Um. I mean, those are really a lot of the big names, I guess. There's other, I mean, there's other people in it, but what what worked for you? One of my biggest drawbacks to superhero movies is is when they have they have to have an origin story for every single one. Mm-hmm. Even the sequels, you have to have an origin story for the bad guys, and even for Michael Keaton's Vulture, they were able to condense that to where you didn't have to dwell on that side of the story. You pretty much instantly got it. Yeah, and. And I really like that. I really like that. Yeah. 
I mean, I, what I enjoyed really was it felt like this was a it was written as a teenager trying to be a superhero, a teenager that looked up to the Avengers and is trying to emulate them, and it really captured the thought process of a teenager. Yeah. I mean, you felt this guy, like I said, you felt like he was seeing, did not know what he was doing half the time. Um, you know, he kept, tech, he kept, it's funny, he's got a text like Happy Hogan, who is uh, his his babysitter, so yeah. to speak. You know, uh, that's Iron Man's like uh, lackey. Sec- security, oh, yeah, lackey. Lackey. Let's just call it, yeah, right. lackey. Right. Um, so, you know, he would text him like a hundred times. He never texted him back. That's what teenagers do. He's watching the clock a lot at school, ready to get out, you know, and nothing, nothing really big happened. I love the suit. I thought the suit was awesome. Uh, it helps explain. I mean, to me, like with Tommy McGuire, they never can really figure out the web shooters. It really makes sense. I mean, truthfully. I mean, you tell me this kid's 15 years old and he's, I mean, I've always had a problem with it, but he's, he's discovered how to use these webbings. I mean, that'd make him a genius, right? I mean, if a yeah. kid, if a He was supposed if, to be a genius, but, though. Yeah, that's the story. He's pretty smart. Yeah, but man, that's really smart at 15. He was supposed to be super smart. That's how he turned into Spider Man. He was in some kind of super smart experiment where the spider bit him. He wasn't involved in the experiment. He went to go see an yes. experiment. Okay, so who that's not super smart goes to see no, an experiment? No, his school, it was a school trip. The whole school, the whole class went. Actually, no. Oh, in the original order, it didn't? Oh, I didn't? No. Okay. When the Toby Maguire... It was like a, it's, it's, it was like a science uh, okay. expedition, and okay. he was like, oh, I want to check this out. Right. So, I mean, and then his, you know, they changed up things a little bit. Flash Thompson was a nerd, but a bully still, so that worked. I thought his, his, his buddy was the best. Ned, I, fa- I really liked his buddy. It's fantastic. I mean, if some you, of the credits are knocking on him, but why? Uh, I don't know why. I, I really enjoyed his. Uh, I, I think that if you were fifteen, man, somebody would know. You right. have to oh, tell somebody for sure. One of your if you had a best friend, how would they not know? Yeah. I mean, you know. And so he I, had. He I had, think it yeah. really worked. Uh, uh, th- there were complaints from the credits about some of the jokes falling flat, and I'm like. I mean, it's a teenager cracking jokes. I mean, so, you know, yeah. it, it, that's how you got to look at it. Um, yeah, and he got the one of the best laughs where he's caught on the computer. I'm not going to give the joke away. When uh, he's caught on the yeah. computer, that's it's hilarious. Uh, Michael Keaton, fantastic. I mean, one of the greater villains in the in the Marvel MCU. I mean, if you Ever? ask me. Well, I mean, it's st- on Loki still 10. has my top spot. Yeah. Okay, Loki. on a one of, scale of 110, yeah. who is Michael Keaton? The Vulture. How was the vulture? In this movie, out of one to ten, I mean, I'd give him about an eight. I mean, John? he's pretty good. I'd, 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 I'd venture on that same number. Okay, what about Loki? Oh, Loki's like a nine point yeah. five. I Loki's mean, awesome. five. you're not going to get better as a villain than Loki because he can just be kind of you know snarky and kind of a smart ass and things like that. I mean, that. if Iron Man was a bad guy, it'd be Loki. Yeah, I mean, that's why everybody likes Iron Man because of his swagger. And that's they had a great scene in the Avengers when they met. Yeah, it was it was great back and forth. So. Oh, I was like, "What the heck's going on here?" Um, so yeah, I mean, fantastic movie. I think if I mean, if if you're a Marvel fan, and you haven't seen this movie. I what are you waiting on? But yeah. you know, you definitely should I'm go OG. see. That's uh, no, we were disconnecting and oh. reconnecting. But anyway, look how the dude pops up though. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty good. adrenaline. Okay, so what should the punishment be, Lee? You're the judge, Judge Lee. Do 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 do. So do. The, <laughs> was the guy hurt? I mean, he went to the hospital. I mean, I guess he's fine. I mean, scrapes and bruises, luckily. What would you do, Judge Lee? I mean, I would give him the max. I mean, <laughs> it's a hit and run Yeah, is what it is. Yeah. Like, the dude was okay, but this guy didn't know him. He didn't know. And, you know, here's the thing. Like, the guy's saying he didn't intentionally hit this guy, but come yeah. on. Did he? And what did you say? I thought someone threw a bike in my car. I thought someone threw a bike in my car, yeah. Who would throw? How do you throw a bike? And that's after he said he didn't know he hit anybody. Wouldn't you stop then anyway and be like, what's going on? Why did you throw a bike in my car? But this leads me to... Here's the problem in the world, man. Let me tell you what the problem in the world, okay? Here we go. First off, the people in cars, they hate bikers, right? Yeah, true. For a general rule. Oh, for sure, I do. The people on the bicycle (laughs) hate the people in the car. Mm-hmm. So already you have an explosive situation where you're competing with these two people on the road automatically. Yeah. This stuff is going to happen. You just have to expect it. Well, I'm I mean, just glad no one got hurt. 
Well, you've been hit by a vehicle, right? I've been hit by several cars, yes. Several? Yes. What do you mean several? I was run off the road by a tractor trailer what? in Whitechapel well, because there's a bunch of rednecks down there. Oh, my God. And they hate bicyclists. Did he, he say had, anything or what? No, he didn't say anything. I, I, was, on a, I was on a a highway, yeah. and I could tell he was behind me and was getting angry, and I just wanted him to pass, but he wouldn't, so I just turned off on a side road. So he turned off on the side road what? and then ran me off the road. No. And I either had I either could have stayed on the road and been run over by a semi or eat dirt. So I hit dirt. Really? So technically I wasn't hit. There was another time where I'd gotten a brand new bike and I was the lady was backing out of her driveway and didn't see me and hit me. And my calf fell right up on the chain, mm. the cog. Mm. And it was a brand new bike and they were super sharp. And I that, that probably like a half inch in oh puncture my God. wound straight down my leg, like so eight additions. I didn't do anything. I mean, how do you get back home? I how do you get back to your car? I mean, I, I was actually pretty close to my house in that oh, instance. Okay. But I mean, the biggest accidents I've had on bicycles were my own fault. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I've been hit in traffic before. and Wow. John. I, mean, I wasn't going yeah. that fast, fortunately. but Well, John got hit by a car yeah. uh, on the way to college. And John could have probably... Could have owned this person. I probably could have. John was too nice and said, "Well, tell, I mean, you tell. I mean, I was there, but I wasn't there. But I was. We lived together, yeah. so I've heard the story. I, I mean, he, I wasn't hurt, so I mean. Basically, you said, "Can you give me a ride to college?" Uh, yeah, I was like, "Give me a ride." <laughs> so you were like, "What? Five minutes by car?" Yeah. Okay. I just yeah. I, was the guy trying to hit him? Was that guy trying to hit him yeah. in the video? Yes, I believe so. John 100%. was the guy trying to hit him. I think he was trying to scare him. I don't think he was actually trying to hit him. Really? But I think when he did hit him, he's like, oh, <laughs> crap, and he just kept going. Throw the book at him, man. Throw the book. Put Throw this the, the, I'm he's, serious. Here's the his problem. His thing is he's rich, and he thinks he's he owns the world. We have to make an example. Make this people. guy the idiot of the week. Hit the freaking right, clip. This guy the is the idiot oh, of the week. my God. I am surrounded by idiots. What's his name? Can you, Greg Goodman. To the idiot, Mabel. No. You idiot. You're an idiot. Well, that's because you're an idiot. That's right. Marshall Grant Neely the third. The third. That tells you something right there. Yeah. You are our idiot of the week for and, and the big thing is just own that you did it. Just say, hey. I I mean, the, the whole point is you're accepting no accountability for what you did. You hit this guy, purpose or not, I think you did hit him on purpose. Even if you say he's trying to scare him and he clipped him, that's still kind of hitting him on purpose. I mean, if you're getting that close to the guy. Mm. Yeah, that's true. I mean, come on. And So in the chat, but why wouldn't he hit just both of them when he was half? <laughs> why was he halfway that's in the That's a troll lane? comment. You can't read that. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I mean. He, we should lock him up because he only hit one. Yeah. <laughs> got to get better at wiping him clean. Um, we've seen Sammy. He was a, he's a Dean of students at university school of Nashville. So he's lost his job. And actually I've learned about this. He lost his job. I'm in a spring Hill Facebook wow. group and they had knew who this guy was like two minutes after the video came out. I don't know how. Well, they yeah. had his license plate on the yeah. video. So if you ride a bicycle guys, please use a GoPro or some type of video device. I mean, you, you have to these days. It's just crazy. I don't know. So I don't know though. Do you really want your family to see you die? Like, well, what if yeah, you might. I mean, yeah. Well, that well, at least they would have some legal recourse. Yeah, that's true. Where get you a cheap GoPro? Wear it when you ride around. That'd be my advice to you. So. My advice is to go someplace like Natchez Trace. Oh wait, that's not gonna. Work. Hey, speaking of advice. <laughs> speaking of advice. Don't we have a segment where somebody no, gives out I advice every we week? Who? <laughs> John. All right, we John's have, gonna. Lee's right. gonna read some advice. Somebody, people write in to us. They need advice. Please write us at bybpod at gmail dot com. We've got some advice, and John is gonna try to help this person out. So, so we had two coming this week. Um, we'll start with the first one. It goes, dear John, the other day I accidentally wore my underwear inside out. Mm. It felt so good and gave me such confidence that I don't think I can return to wearing them the right way. My fear is being found out one day and judged for it. What should I do? Signed, Totally Not River, a.k.a. Geek Ulele, on Twitter, a.k.a. The Beard from the TiVo and the Beard Podcast. 
Is that it? That's it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, uh, I guess you could rewind and listen to the one where we give somebody advice about not wearing underwear at all. Um, it's all it's all you, man. It, it's better than wearing it backwards, I guess. Um, <laughs> Is it really? Well, I mean, there might be a timing issue if you wear them backwards. So, so should he fear? Okay. No. Well, some, first of all, somebody catches him. I mean, <laughs> well, if he got into an accident, he got hit on a bike. And well, like 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 an ambulance had and, to come and Amos and, had to come and get him out. Like I think he's mostly worried that his uh, Twitter crushes are gonna find out. I know it'd be a shame if they found out that this guy who's totally not River wears his underwear inside out. John, have you ever wore your underwear inside out? I don't think I have. Lee, no. <laughs> okay. I mean, that was a delayed no. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Maybe late. I did. I, I don't think did. he had to like. Uh, but they're wait clean. Why would that? But what if? Okay, so what if hypothetically? This person, there's people that wear women's underwear probably every day that we don't know about, right? There and, might and, be people. And the out ultimate there, yeah. fear is that, like I said, people find out. What point do you just have to accept who you are, what you like, do it? Is there a line, or you just who cares? Whatever you just go for it, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> so just that, do it. Just do it, no matter what. Pull a Cheryl Crow, man. Cheryl Crow, whatever makes you happy, right? Uh, yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> All right, do we have, an, do we have another yeah, one? Yeah, we do. Yeah, okay. That one was obviously a little light. So yeah, that's a little bit. This one comes in. All right, here we go. Dear John, I'm writing this letter to you for some advice. For most of my life, I have not felt like I was being my true self. Uh-oh. So finally, in my 30s, I decided to do what it took to change that. Yes, I am transgender. I no, dyed my hair. No, no, no. Transgender. Oh, I decided to do what it took to change that. Yes, I am trans ginger. Ginger, not trans- gender. Ginger. I dyed my hair, got a few freckles tattooed on me, and even sold my soul. But I haven't told my family yet. Should I bite the bullet or wait till Thanksgiving? <laughs> Signed, as red as I want to be. Oh, go ahead, John. I think you just 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 wait till uh, wait till Thanksgiving. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> How does your family not know that you dyed your hair red? Well, maybe they live in another state. Have freckles tattooed on your face, man. That well, was maybe major key alert. Because no Thanksgiving face tattoos, man. <laughs> this is a this is a this is a staple of an early episode. You don't get tattoos on your face ever. This is a bad decision. Are we going to change the segment to Dear David? Because I we didn't even give John a chance to answer this week. Well, <laughs> go ahead, John. I said, just wait till Thanksgiving. He did say, yeah, wait till Thanksgiving. Till Thanksgiving. I'm, I'm, I'm appending that to say, what are you doing, dude? I'm guessing you're a guy. Maybe you're a girl. I don't, a girl. They didn't say, right? Girl, guy, listen to me. This is simple. I'm going to keep it real simple for you. Don't get any tattoos above your neck or up, okay? Just don't do it. It's stupid. We've talked about this constantly. Now the freckles, you can't get those off. Look, I have freckles. I mean, I, if I could snap my fingers and not have them, would I? Sure. I mean, I don't really think about it, actually. Once you get to a certain age, you really don't... Th- I mean, I got a lot of freckles, but I don't ever really think about it. But if I could snap my fingers and not have them, sure, I would. But but at the same time, what'd you say earlier, John? If you like it, what'd you say? Just go with it, right? Just go with it. Just go with it. Just close your eyes, what if baby. You, I mean, if you woke up tomorrow and you were like... um, I, it's, it, none of our friends I mean, have if done it's, this. If but this, is a, this is a girl, I mean, I do have an affinity for redheads, so hey. Oh, so you're encouraged. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Misogyny learned. Yes. Misogyny learned. I love it. The advice is different. I know. If you're a woman, how is the advice you different from, first. Yes, how is the advice different from a guy or a girl? So if it's a dude. No, I just said I was all for it so if it was a girl. We've never had a friend dye his hair but white if you're or anything, dude, right? If you're a dude, you better not dye your hair I red. did not say that. Yeah, you pretty much did. Yeah, really you did. did. No. You pretty much All right, did. so if you're a dude, don't do it. If you're a girl, John's cool with it. Thanks for that advice, John. I'll hear about it, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, you probably will. All right, so that was our dear John. Like we said, if you need advice, send us an email. Uh, BYBpod at gmail.com. All right, so uh, what else do we got, Lee? Is your... I don't know. What are we? What's the next segment? Because we're we're undergoing changes. We're at episode. Well, you know what? We're episode four nine. You know what I you say? Know, big changes are coming. Let's for the just show. continue the selfie parade for right now. All right. 
Uh, we said we thought the selfies were going to drop off, but you know what? The selfies continue. So we're going to do hashtag blame your selfie, our selfie segment where our listeners send in selfies of themselves with the hashtag blame your selfie, and we show those pictures and we send them praise in the process. So here we, and this is really why you need to be watching the video. But anyway, all right, first up we have at Finger Podcast, a.k.a. Sambo, and says, blame your selfie. Time for a haircut and a shave. Mohawk or rat tail or bald? Question mark. All right, here we go. John, which one of those three? And you had a rat tail before. I'd probably go bald. Bald, Lee. What would you I go? I think Sammy should go rat tail. I say mohawk. So you have three Split different. Decision. We should maybe put up a poll of this. What Actually, should, I really don't think anyone should ever go rat tail. John went rat tail when we met him. You should never go, yeah. never go full rat tail. John, do you regret the rat tail? Yes. You do. Yeah. I think that. I, I think that's one of those things I'd be like, dude. That no. might be your major key, oh, right without there. a doubt. Yeah. It's an early key. Yeah, early Let's key. go it's ahead and roll the key. It's a contender <laughs> for the key of the week. <laughs> We're gonna have to try really hard so, to beat that. You said bald. I'm going with mohawk. Yeah, I'm Mohawk. Man. I think I think Sammy could pull off a bald look. Yeah, Mohawk, man. He Go could. He, he could. could okay. All right. This is Michael and Anthony Nicholas II. second. Uh, he goes. This is me and my reaction to the surprise of being honored in 2014. I had no idea it was happening. He was honored uh, for a golf tournament. Said this tournament is honor of Michael Anthony Nicholas. So they had a golf tournament. And he was. Uh, he got his own banner for the event. So that's pretty cool. Balling. He's having one this year, and we're going to be kicking some prizes to him. So there you go. All right, this is me. Lunch today was at the Busterant, and this is a it's a bus. It's a food truck that's a double-decker bus, like British style. It's British food. I had fish and chips. They had uh, bangers and mash. They had things like that. And so they, the, they serve the food on the first level, and then you can go upstairs and eat on the second level. And the food was fantastic. So who are you with here? Can you uh, drop some names? Yeah, these are my coworkers. This is Aaron, Aaron Thomas, buddy of mine, and then that's uh, Clay, who I probably talk about quite a bit. Uh, Clay Christian. So Clay is a madman, but uh, what's the I'm, other guy? I'm the madman. Aaron Thomas. Aaron seems like a cool guy. Aaron's uh, he's a different guy for sure. Okay. All <laughs> right. So here we go. Here's John Tortorello at Twitterello. And uh, he's at the Spider-Man Homecoming. He said he's heavier than he looks. Blame Spider-Man. And he's acting like he lifted. I don't know what you're doing. He li- it looks like he lifted up uh, Spider-Man on the poster. And that's obviously his, his Spider-Man Homecoming shout out. So there you go. All right. Next up, we have Katie's back with us. Ball Pit Gangster at Ball Pit Gangster Hippos. Says fancy date night with Wolverine, which is her boyfriend. Hashtag blame your selfie. And Should we, we tell her to smile? Smile or don't. I mean, <laughs> look good either way. It's fine. I like the dress as it's always. So inside All right, here's Lee's uh, friend of me. This is uh, Pizza Dad Lives, and he says, must be Thursday. Hashtag blame your selfie. Hashtag workflow. Hashtag podcast. Hashtag always listening. And I know we say it on Twitter a lot, but this guy, when he listens to the show and his recaps are the best in the business. I mean, this guy should be doing this for a living. I mean, he, some of the quotes he pulls from the episodes – it really make when he's they're better than the episodes. Oh, they're right? better than the episodes. Yeah, <laughs> well, what he'll what he'll pull out of this one, God it knows. Good. It is good. But um, I'm Doing sure the Lord's work. I'm sure, sure he'll find some magic. But that's Lee's friend of me. You know, I, I, with, hey, with enemies like that, who needs friends? I don't know what that means. Anyways, next up we got Bethany, aka uh, at Space Pants, and it said, "Post Beach, blame your selfie." And so there she is. Uh, apparently, been at the beach this week. Uh, she's rocking glasses with the Guns and Roses. T-shirt or tank top. So Bethany's always uh, always gets a lot of likes whenever she posts his pictures. This is Bree Poe. Bree Poe's back with us after an absence from the selfie game, and her says she is a freelance uh, typer, typist, typist. Sorry, I, I can't see the font here. Joke. But uh, yeah, she she is a freelance typist and have worked with authors, universities, and startup companies. Message me about your project. So if you need something transcribed, she is the lady to go to. That's Brie Poe. We, Brie Poe's the best. We love her. She's awesome. So thank you, Brie, for submitting the selfie. And then ca- here's at Caution Spoilers. People always look forward to her selfies. There's always a theme to them, always something pretty cool about them. It says, trying to work out how to pack all this hand luggage from my first girl's weekend away since having babies. Hashtag Poland. I know. Hashtag blame your selfie. So she looks like she's going to have a good time. Enjoy the girls' weekend. Let us know how it goes. It'd be interesting. 
This is Lee. It says, if I was born to be a banjo player in an old Tommy band, I'd better buy a banjo. Hashtag blame your selfie. Hashtag you, ukulele. So there you go. Those are some selfies of the week. Thanks, you guys, so much for submitting those. Keep them coming. Keep them going. We love them. Those are our blame your selfie. All right, so we do advice. We do blame your selfie, and so we do this. Key. Where is the key? This is not the key. I want the key. Give us the keys. So let me give you a major key. And you really do have the key. Everybody, I mean, everybody stand up right now. Wow, everybody. watch your mouth honky. What? what is going on here? I okay, we so each week, recap a each these. week we, uh, yeah, let's pick we some random. like so start posting them on the website We or should, something. yeah, why aren't we? Uh, why so we? these, send them to me, I'll put them up there. Every week we uh we did we we try to get a, a lesson from the episode, but that way we can say it's educational. If anyone ever asks us, we're doing an educational podcast. That's what we're we really that's what we're doing. Um, last week's was always know who's your daddy. Uh, some other great ones from episode forty four. Watch your mouth, honky. I, don't know what that's, I really don't I know what that's remember about. Remember that? I literally don't know what that's about. Uh, episode thirty nine in honor of Lee. Always bring the thunder. Um, episode 36 from John, put him in a fat suit. <laughs> uh, episode 31, don't put your feet on another man's couch. So anyways, they go on and on. They have I feel a, like uh, the, the dude at USN would have been listening to our episode. He'd be in so much less trouble after episode 41. Right. Right. Pick a lane, stay in your lane. No, that's all he had to do. That's all he had to do. That's all he had to do. If, if, yeah, idiot of the week. All right, so this week's major key, the lesson we got, go ahead, just say what it is. <laughs> Never go full rat tail. <laughs> Never, Never go full, go rat, full tail. rat tail. And this is this is this is like a dear John that didn't happen. <laughs> it's like go. speaking from experience. There you go. So that's it. Never go full. Learn rat tail. from my mistakes. Yes. There we go. So that's your major key for episode forty nine. All right. So that uh, that's the episode. Unless you guys missed anything. Hey, the t shirts are in the process of being made. So if you ordered a t shirt through the GoFundMe. Those T-shirts are being made right now. We saw the proof today. They look fantastic. Uh, can't wait to get those. Send those out to everyone. You guys are you're really going to like those shirts. Like I said, next week, episode 50. Um, we'll try to get active on social media. If you want to leave us a couple of voicemails, maybe make it a kind of a, a, an occasion. That would be cool. You know, uh, Send us some emails. Let us know what you like about the show, all that. But, yeah, episode 50 next week, that's a pretty big – it's a pretty big mark. I mean, when we started out a year ago, who knew how long this was going to last? But we made it a year, and and we expect to do some great things in the next year as we go forward. So it's uh, it's always a journey, you know. Um, and other than that, I think, uh, like I said, you people have been ordering things through Amazon. We really appreciate it. So what you need to do is go to bybpod.com. That's bybpod.com. That's our website. On the right side, there is an Amazon link button. Click on that button. Bookmark that page, and from now on, whenever you go to Amazon, just use that link. Um, we get credit for everything you purchase. Doesn't cost you any extra, but we do get a percentage of the sales. And this week has been, it's been pretty amazing. I mean, we have we've done pretty good this week. So you guys have made that happen. It's not us, you know. Well, it's John buying some diapers, but it's really you guys more than us. So we really appreciate it. Uh, if you go to our website, there's all kinds of links on there. You know, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Go subscribe to our YouTube page. Come hang out with us on Thursday nights when we record this live. We are on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, TuneIn, all the sites there. Subscribe. You get the episodes. Go leave us a five-star rating and review. And like I say, there's a lot of YouTube videos. You can go check out our coverage of Con of Thrones to get excited for the new Game of Thrones. If Santa Claus is going to get killed by Mr. Snow in the North Pole, all that good stuff. So let us know about that. And, you know, check out the website. Go listen to some past episodes. How do we miss Kid Rock running for Senate? I mean, there's so much that happened this week. Let us know what what interests you and, you know, get us on Twitter or Facebook and we'll talk about it on the show. So um, I think that's about it. Our email's there. Our voicemail's there. Lee, anything else? Don't blame yourself when you can blame your brother.
you punch me in a dream, you better wake up and apologize, boy. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. Oh, he made the show after all. 